is something not of celebration is it possible that uh, we get responsible and not uh, be uh, sensitive enough to uh, the surrounding people it's not in my view something which is personal when we celebrate we celebrate our common ground celebration doesn't come from the person but rather comes from love, from our sense of shared intimacy with others or with the universe. And therefore, the entire universe is included in the celebration. In that sense, it can, true celebration is, cannot be detrimental to other beings. Otherwise, there would be no real happiness if my way of happiness is doing harm to others. That would be then a kind of compensation. Your heart wouldn't be with it. Something else would be with it, but not your heart. When your heart goes with your celebration, then the universe is included. It is not a personal celebration. In fact, it is the universe that celebrates through you and through others. What I'm saying, we, we have uh, experienced it. We know the difference between seeing a movie just because we are getting bored or we have a sense of lack and seeing a movie just to celebrate with others and how more lively it is as an experience. Actually, the, the movie doesn't matter much. Sometimes the movie is terrible and you have a good time because you laugh about it with your friends. So what you do is not that as important as the context in which you do it, the deep meaning in which you do it. When there is ignorance, which means when there is a belief in a separate self, there is no true celebration. People who are in ignorance, when they, they still may have moments of true celebration. There are moments when they forget their belief in a separate self. Then they have an inkling of a different perspective. Joseph Campbell used to say, follow your bliss. I tend to agree with that. Happiness or bliss is the experience of our true nature, being aware of itself. The object that seemingly brings it about is not important. It has nothing to do with the experience of happiness. The experience of happiness, you are, you stand alone in your own glory as presence. It is the same as the experience of love, of understanding, of beauty. So practically speaking, if you have a, a hobby that generates joy for you, you don't have to let go of it. I don't want you to live in a prison, you know, and eat uh, dirty food and don't have any connections with other beings. I, that's not the goal. That's not the point. You see, what we have to renounce is not enjoyment of objects. What we have to renounce is simply our attachment to a belief, 
one single belief that we are a separate individual. And if we renounce this belief, whatever else needs to be renounced will be renounced effortlessly. We don't have to make effort. The effort making belongs to the what is called the gradual path in which there is a, a yogi separate entity efforting towards a goal that it is trying to achieve, but the goal it is trying to achieve can never be achieved because there is nobody to achieve it. So the goal gets achieved when there is this deep understanding that there is nobody to achieve it. And that there was nobody in the first place to start the quest. That there is not a single separate entity in the entire cosmos. <laughs> 